Hello everyone, my name is Adi from Team Coder Z, and in this video I'm going to show you a new feature we just released and we've just released called Progress Reports and Heat Maps. So what are progress reports and heat maps? Let's have a closer look. Until now when you've clicked the classes tab, uh, you were able to see your student roster and perform a few class management actions. You were also able to see their score uh, and, and a little bit more information about how well your students are performing in Coder Z but not much so things have changed now when you go into the uh, uh, classes page you'll be able to choose whatever class you want to uh, check out and in that class you will see this heat map what is this heat map on the left side you will see all the available students all the registered students in this class and uh, at the top row you'll be able to see all the missions for that specific pack that you've chosen I have multiple packs enabled so I can switch between tab uh, packs Let's focus on the crash course pack. In each uh, uh, point between a student and a, and a mission, you will be able to see this color-coded square, which indicates how well the student performed in this specific mission. Uh, this not only gives you how far the student progress made progress in the mission pack, but also how well he performed in each mission. Clicking on any of those uh, uh, squares will also show you what the student have done in this specific mission. For example, as you can see, gray uh, squares are for missions that were skipped by the student. Maybe they skipped it uh, by intention, maybe not. Whatever the case may be, this is a mission they did not even attempt to solve. Red missions are missions that they did attempt but were not able to complete successfully. That is why there is no score. Yellow missions are missions that they were able to complete successfully but their score was lower than the class average which is always visible here. So Kermit the Frog in mission right curve turn performed, uh, completed the mission successfully with a score of 55. Took him a little bit over one minute and that was his first attempt. That can be a cue for you to ask Kermit to improve the score with another attempt trying to get a score that is at least equal to the average. Green missions are missions that their score was either equal or higher than the class average. As you can see, there are many green squares, meaning that the class is doing well, but there are things to uh, consider, things to have a look at. So the heat map provides you a, a, a quick overview of how the class is progressing, not only by how much, but also at what quality. It can also give you some insights as to specific missions. For example, parking right, uh, two students were not able to complete it at a score that is at least the average, meaning it might have been a little bit too difficult to the class, uh, so it might be worth going through it with the rest of the students uh, in class. Your choice, of course. So after you've seen the heat map, you might want to dig in a little deeper and, for example, see what's the issue with Fuzzy Bear. Fuzzy Bear is the top student because he's the one with the lowest average score, and all the other students would uh, uh, sort uh, based on their score. So we can see that this num these numbers are keep going up, but we can change it. We can filter it from highest to lowest, or we can filter it by a student name, ABC. So whatever is your choice, the default is we'll start with the least performing student. So let's see what's the matter with Fuzzy Bear. So once I click on a student name, I can see uh, on the left side a comparison between the student statistics and the class statistics for example the average score of fuzzy bear is 50 while the class average is 80 so he's definitely one of the uh, uh, top students um, his average attempt is one uh, instead of two which might hint that he's doing the minimum necessary and he doesn't uh, try a, a second time or a third time to get a better score so this might be a hint uh, as to why his score is lower than average he's trying less than others also, on the duration side of things, we can see that he's solving the missions quicker than others. So he's a good student. He was able to com complete this uh, mission successfully within 27 seconds. But if he probably would have invested another attempt, his score would have been better. Um, other than this, what we have in the main view is a tab view of all the different missions. Each tab is uh, indicating how many missions um, were in that category uh, of that score. For example, red missions are missions that he was not able to solve, and there are two of those. 
whatever the reason may be, we'll need to figure it out with Fuzzy Bear himself. There were two missions that he did with a score that is equal or higher than the class average. In this case, he did it at a score of 100. There were no missions that he successfully completed that his score was lower. Let's have a look at a different student. For example, let's check out Miss Piggy's uh, uh, performances. So there were no missions that she was not able to solve. There was one mission in which she performed under par, under the uh, class average. Uh, she had three attempts uh, and invested almost two minutes, so it might be that the park back is a little bit more complex for her than other missions. The rest of the missions she did extremely well. Looking on the left side, we can see that she's definitely one of the best students uh, and she's definitely on par with the rest of the class. So Miss Piggy is, is, uh, is one of the good students, one of the uh, better performing students in my class. Um, I can change the packs if I want to check out different packs that I've assigned to my students. <coughs> I can switch to different students and I can also switch to different classes. Once I'm in the class view, I can also perform actions on that class. For example, I can edit the class information or I can invite students. This is the same interface that we've had before. So nothing's new here except from where to get to it. So don't forget this little button here. If you pick a student, then these options uh, are different. You can deactivate a student, reset their password, move a class. Uh, once I deactivate a student, then something will change. I will get this label called deactivated for that specific student. And in the class view, is going to be grayed out. So grayed out students are just deactivated students and I can see that once I click on them. They I can still monitor the progress, but that's actually the history of that student because the activated user can't access Coder Z anymore, then there's not going to be additional progress. Uh, for example, if your class uh, uh, was for one semester, semester was ended, all your students will be deactivated, you'll still have access to their progress so you can provide grades and, and, and continue their evaluation even though they have no long, long, no longer can access Coder Z. So to wrap things up, uh, under the classes view, you can see all your classes. In each class, you can see your student roster, how well they're performing in each of those missions, how far they've gone, how well they've done in each of them by clicking on those little squares, and also dig deeper into specific students and see where where, what are the missions that they need help with. For example, Ralph the dog needs help with a uh, roundabout left. Since it's the last mission, maybe just need more time. Uh, but for example, these two missions, back and forth and parking right, uh, he could have done better. And we can see that he only did one attempt and the duration was very quick. So may maybe all he needs is a little encouragement to score higher and he already has the skill needed to get a high score, such as 100 or, 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 or something like that. Uh, we have the class average available to us at all time, uh, and we can do quick comparisons between the students and the class to see if he's under par or above par, etc. All the actions are still available to us from the action menu, uh, both in the student view, but also in the class view. If you have suggestions, uh, uh, or comments on what we've done and things that you sh think we should do uh, for latest for our next releases, please click your profile and choose feedback. Give us your rating. OMG is great. You don't have to. And you can write us your feedback. Once you click send, it's going to get directly into my inbox. So feel free to write anything you think is useful and can we can improve upon. So thank you very much. Hope this has been uh, something that you were looking for and exci are excited about. Uh, and that's it for me. I'm Adi from Team Code Z. Take care and may the code be with you.